Hello everyone, so it's been a while since we first introduced our Bedford CF project to you all. It's been slow going recently, what we've worked tying us down a little bit, but we have made some good progress and we'd love to show you what we've been up to. And if you've just joined our channel, please check out the video in the top right hand corner to see what we're talking about. For those of you that have just joined us on YouTube, I'm Ben and this is Lucy and this is Lucy's dad. Lucy's dad's going to mainly be helping us with the mechanical side of things. In this short video we're going to show you what we've been up to recently and show you some sketches of our first initial designs of what we hope the back box is going to look like. But before we go there, let's rewind a little bit. Back in September we were looking for a project van to convert into a camper van to hire out in the summer in the hopes of making an income that would allow us to travel full time. What we ended up with was a 1979 Bedford CF chassis cab pulled from a barn somewhere in North Cornwall. It was in need of some serious TLC and it didn't even have a box on the back, but something about it appealed to us more than a modern van. After all, we were after something with character. Now we were faced with not only a conversion, but also a full restoration as this classic van hadn't been on the road in two years. Okay, so first things first with our new van. As you can see, she's quite rusty. So we're gonna get an angle grinder with a wire brush attached to it, get off as much of the rust as possible, and then coat it with red oxy and stone guard. After going through two different types of wire brush attachment, we realised something was wrong. The bristles were flying off and hitting us in the legs, and it was clear that we'd need something more heavy duty. Once all the rust had been removed from the chassis, it was time to coat it with red oxide primer to inhibit any future rust. Now that the chassis had been primed, it was time for a coat of stone guard. This is a thick paint that will coat the metal and protect it from stone chips and prevent any water or dirt from getting in. The next task was to clean out the cab, which was full of dirt, cobwebs and generations of spiders. I set about stripping out the old, rotten flooring from the cab to expose the extent of the rust below.
final task was to grind all of the loose rust off the cab floor and treat it, although some bits would need welding. I used a wire brush and chisel to get into the awkward areas, as I'd also done on the chassis. So the final thing we wanted to share with you in this video is our first layout design for the interior of the box on the back. This is strictly just outlining the layout, the textures, colours etc aren't important at this stage, we just wanted to get a rough idea of where everything will be placed. We've used SketchUp to draw out the design, we used this on our last project and it really helped us to no end as you can make everything to scale, it really helps, so let's show you around. We've designed this living space for a family of four to holiday in. This isn't going to be a living vehicle, which means there's no need for loads of storage space. We've made the design with the door in the side of the box, but this may move to the back instead. So over at the front we have the seating area, and one of the main features of this area is the large window. We wanted to make a feature out of the rear window that's in the cab of the van by adding a second window into the box, so you can just look right through and see out. Uh, the seats will have storage underneath, all of the electrics will be housed in the left side, so that's leisure batteries, fuse box, split charger, inverter, all of that. And the right one is just going to be for storage. There'll also be a table which will lift out of the floor, which will make up the middle of the bed. So just above the living area, there'll be space for a small double bed in the Luton section of the van, and space for storage cupboards on the roof along there. And this bed area will also contain like a feature window in the front. So in the centre of the van is the wet room. Uh, there will be a port and gas heated shower here, which you can't see in the design. Um, and obviously there is going to be a door on the front as well. Opposite will be the main feature of the van, the wood burner. We really regret not having one of these in our van, so we're absolutely determined to get one in this van. At the rear of the van we have the kitchen area. Uh, one side will be taken up by a full-size oven and cooker which you can't really see too clearly in this design but it is there I promise you and the other side there will be a sink, workspace and storage um, both above and below and that's it for the initial design we've got lots of cool features and extra little additions that we're planning to put in which you can't see on SketchUp that all will be revealed in time so that's all the rust we've taken care of so far. If you want to check out any of the materials we used in this video, then hit up the links in the description below.